What's up guys, welcome back to Mold Mondays. Now, I know it's been forever since uh, I've done a video, uh, but a lot of that was just moving, changing jobs. Um, and then my fiance started working from home, so her office got set up in our my what was my studio. Um, and then I just didn't have a good setup in this space uh, that I really enjoyed. So I wanted to wait until I could get a better setup together. Um, so I hope you enjoy the new look. Um, but today we are going to be looking at the Balveni single barrel 12 year old. So. Um, Balvenie offers the 12 year old double wood, which I think might've been my very first video. No, uh, this is one of, one of my first like few videos, um, that I did on the 12 year old, the double, the double wood. And that one is finished in sherry cask. So it's aged in bourbon barrels and then sherry cask for like three to six months, just to give it a little bit of that finishing flavor. Well, this is done completely in ex bourbon barrels. So, um, if you don't know what that means, that's barrels that used to previously hold bourbon, and then they emptied the bourbon and they shipped it to Scotland, and now they put the whiskey in it. Um, so, this is bourbon only, but it's also only one barrel. So, every bottle of this is going to taste a little bit different um, compared to what you normally get with whiskey, which is they take hundreds of barrels, blend them together in a large blending vat, and then bottle that. And they do that for consistency. Single barrels are a little bit nicer because, um, or a little more unique because it's just that barrel. So this is bottle one of no more than 300. So there's only 300 bottles in the world that taste identical to this. Now they're all gonna be similar, um, but there are more differences than you would expect um, just because of those individual barrels. And my barrel number, it should be on the bottle, is 5563, and this is bottle 293. So if you happen to have the exact same cask, which I doubt, um, you'll know, but it's bottled at 47.8% alcohol. And uh, that's one of the things I like about Balvenie that, um, a lot of the other brands don't really do is they tend to bottle everything above 40%. Um, now, I could be wrong, and in other markets that may vary, but in America at least, um, I think everything they make is 43% or higher. Um, and I enjoy that, it just gives a little more weight to the whiskey, and you don't really feel like they're just trying to uh, stretch their whiskey as far as it can possibly go. So, anyway, um, this is natural color. Uh, Balveni doesn't use artificial coloring, so it's a nice light uh, golden color, uh, kind of like pale straw, um, which is typical if it's in a bourbon only cask. Um, sherry gives it a darker, um, a darker hue, and also this is American oak, so it's it's not going to be um, quite as tannic as say a Spanish uh, Spanish oak, but on the nose. That smells beautiful. It's pretty floral. There's a little bit of oak spiciness going on. There's some pear, um, which is typical for a Speyside uh, single malt that's done in bourbon barrels. Uh, you tend to get some of those light orchard kind of fruits. I get some vanilla. And, um, and definitely a little bit of a burnt sugar. So um, that, that bourbon is coming through in the, in the vanilla and a little bit of the, a little bit of the sweeter nose. 
Not much alcohol on the nose, even though it's higher proof. So let's see how it tastes. Really, really rich flavor. Um, and by rich, I mean it coats your mouth. Not rich like, um, not rich like something that's done in sherry casks its entire life, where it's almost like overly concentrated flavor, um, but just very full flavored. Um, the vanilla is right at the front, along with that pear. And then it kind of fades to those spices uh, in the back. It was pretty creamy, actually, on the finish. Um, you, you still feel, I still get some of the spice uh, popping, but uh, it's actually quite creamy and smooth, um, especially just for it being a younger whiskey at 12 years old and having the higher proof, um, there, um, there's no burn at all. Um, so I, I, I'm pretty impressed with this actually. It's not overly complex. Um, I think the 12 year old double cask, uh, is a little more of a complex whiskey. Um, but again, that makes sense because it's got the sherry influence as well as the bourbon influence. And so there's more, f more possibilities, of uh, flavors going on, but This has a little more of a distinct character, if I could put it that way. The, the double cask, there, there's a lot of whiskeys that are done in bourbon and then, or ex-bourbon barrels, and then finish in sherry for a few months. And it's, it's a, it, there's a lot in that market. Um, and there's fewer of the space cider whiskeys that are being done as a single barrel at a higher proof in a, ex bourbon only so i really like that about this one um i think if i had to pick between the two i think it would just depend on if you want the sherry cask influence or if you want a little more of a traditional scotch flavor uh, this is going to be a little closer to just a, a true scotch flavor rather than more cask influence um, but that being said i i think that they're, they're both awesome whiskeys now they retail right about the same. The double cask, I believe, is usually about $55 here. And I think this one's usually about $65. So this is a little more expensive, um, but again, higher alcohol content. And it's really, it's going to be your personal preference. Um, and my honest recommendation would be to get both and try both. Because if you have them side by side, it's really instructive in the flavors that you're tasting and the way the cask influence um, impacts those flavors and it, it, it's just it's always informative to taste whiskey side by side so anyway i i definitely recommend you try this um i i typically don't like ex bourbon barrel only whiskeys because a lot of times i get kind of a coconut flavor um, but i don't get that on this one at all i i really really like this so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel um, and click that bell for notifications when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.